Hello friends, welcome to this video. We have previously learned that rational numbers are closed under addition. Are they also closed under subtraction and multiplication? Let's see. Children, we have discussed the closure property of rational numbers under addition. Now let us discuss it with respect to subtraction. Children, subtract 8 from 3. Sir, the answer is minus 5. Well done Rahul. Children, now look at this table. Here 3 and 8 are natural numbers. But the answer obtained by their subtraction is not a natural number. Children, by looking at this table, you can say that subtracting two natural numbers does not necessarily give a natural number. Sir, it means that natural numbers are not closed under subtraction. Yes, Mohan. Can you find out the same about whole numbers and an integers using this method? Yes, sir. Even whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. Well done, Mohan. You have answered it correctly. Children, you may also remember what you had studied in the last class about integers. Integers are closed under subtraction. Sir, do rational numbers have the same property as integers? Let's see. Let us now take two rational numbers such as 5 by 2 and 2 by 5. Subtract them and tell me the answer. Sir, the answer is 21 by 10. And this is also a rational number. Children, let's take another example. Let's find 4 minus 2 by 3. You too should solve this question. Children, did you also get 10 by 3, which is a rational number? Children, now look at these numbers. Did you get rational numbers as the result? You too should solve this question. Children, you must have obtained a rational number by subtracting these numbers. Because rational numbers are closed under subtraction. You can also do this for other rational numbers. Now children we shall discuss about closure property under multiplication. We will take two rational numbers. What will you get if you multiply 2 by 7 and 3 by 5? Sir, we will get 6 by 35 and this is also a rational number. Children, will you get a rational number if you multiply minus 1 by 3 and 2 by 5? Yes, sir. This time too we have got a rational number. Children, multiply these numbers now. You too should solve this question. Children, this time too you will get a rational number after multiplying these numbers. This is because rational numbers are closed under addition and subtraction as well as multiplication. Children, so far we have discussed the closure property of rational numbers under subtraction and multiplication. In the next video, we will discuss closure property under division. That's all in this session. See you in the next video. Thank you.